these are dirty. Oh, I'm gonna have to wash these things. Clean these things off, look at they're dirty. Uh, morning, morning, one and all. Morning, folks. Morning you right there, sitting or standing. Why are you standing? Sit down, the vlog's beginning, get comfortable. We are in Post Falls, Montana. <coughs> Post Falls, Montana. Just over the border, no, not Montana, Idaho. Post Falls, Idaho. What am I saying? Oh man, I'm not awake yet. I gotta go for a walk and wake up. Just over the border over there to the west is Washington. Spokane, Washington to be exact. Am I saying that right? Spokane, Spokane? I think it's Spokane, right? Even though it's spelt Spokane. They like to say Spokane. Should've spelt it right then. Everyone thinks it's Spokane. Diesel. Should we start the day? Should we start the day? Maybe by going outside? Oh yeah. Day. A little bit chilly. It's not like the gorgeous or anything, but it's beautiful. Just on its own, beautiful. A little bit cold, but the mountains in the background make up for it. So we're gonna be headed into Washington. I believe we gotta go over the Cascade Mountains today yet. We went through the Rockies last night. It was dark already. Diesel, come on, less sniffing, more you know. Let's, there you go, see? <laughs> Wanted to come out here so bad, and all I wanted to do was sniff everything. So yeah, pretty much just gotta get through Washington State, into BC, got about well, seven hours of straight driving from here, just straight driving. So I'm gonna give myself about nine hours to get there. We're going to Port Coquitlam, BC. But we're probably gonna stop in Langley tonight, uh, just the next town over. All right, Diesel. You want it? Take it. Good boy. Good boy, Diesel. You did really good out there. We're just a little ways down the road here. We're gonna pull into Walmart, take our half hour break while we go in there and uh, stock up a few things. All right, Diesel. Well, you're gonna wait in the truck. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go inside. I'll have to take a half hour before I hit Canada anyways. So I might as well do it now got five hours left of driving to get there so if I take it now I can get to the border no problem in the next eight hours keep right on to Washington right, 17 right, North. Right, right why am I turning left sorry Mandy guess I tuned you out can you blame me I'm a man totally need to grab a little bit of uh, wet food canned food for diesel some personal items, like some uh, deodorant. I always have to have deodorant. I sometimes walk past some truckers or sometimes just get within, you know, a half mile of some truckers out there and just about die of suffocation. Guys, wear deodorant. It's really not that hard. It takes 10 seconds, not even. It takes two seconds. Some drive, I, I know some drive, like these guys that come in and they, they don't even try. Like they don't even, care a little bit like gotta have a little bit of pride in your hygiene just a little bit i mean you don't go to shower like twice a day just a little bit of pride you know uh, i'm just thinking of one specific driver that i ran into at a shipper where i picked this trailer up actually he was in the shipper's office when i walked in there and i had to leave the room because his bo was so bad and then the employees, after he left, went and opened the doors so that we could air out the room. It was awful. Can you imagine being in a truck with that guy? So yes, deodorant is very important. Gotta go pick me up some because I ran out.
right around the corner now, eh? Down to crunch time. Are you guys getting excited? Getting nervous? Getting scared? Getting angry? All of them combined? Welcome to the American elections. I can't vote, but I'm going to welcome you to them anyways, because it's fun. I keep up with them very, 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 very closely. Because whatever president gets elected in the United States, their policies, whatever their policies will be, will directly and immediately affect me in Canada. Plus, I really love America, and I really want the best for them. So when you're watching this, it's a week and two days, I think. Right? It's Tuesday's the election, right? The 8th, November 8th. So you're watching on the 30th? Yeah, just, just over a week. I want to make sure to encourage all of you down here in the States to get out and vote. Don't set this one up, all right? Uh, whoever you choose to vote for, just uh, get out there and do it. Don't let this election pass you by. It's an important one. I believe we're going right past Everett here, which is sort of like a sister city or a neighboring city to Seattle. Very fancy stuff going on out here. It is a beautiful city out here. And they have decent weather. By that I mean it rains a lot, but it never really snows a lot. So if you live in a place where you don't get any snow, that is decent. They just need to get more sunlight. If they had more sunlight, it would be gorgeous. Oh, well, look, there's a Microsoft tower there. Oh, Microsoft, what do you know? A lot of electronic stuff and gizmos and gadgets come out of this area. They're very tech savvy in this city. This is where Vlogger Fair is held in Seattle, not in Everett, in Seattle. Unfortunately, I won't be able to go this year, but maybe next year, we'll see. I haven't heard much from the team there, so I don't really even know what's going on there this year. I found my next truck. Wow. He's waiting for the uh, the dump station so he can dump his uh, waste. He obviously has a kitchen sink and maybe even a shower in there. Look at that thing. I want it. If I ever buy another truck, it'll be something like that. Probably not as big. Cause that wheelbase is a little long for the uh, regulations of Canada. But I do want a custom truck like that. That is beautiful. If that is your truck, please send me a message. Leave me a comment. Do something because your truck is beautiful. Oh, man. Beautiful. We're arriving at the Canadian border here on Pacific Highway. Just by White Rock, BC, in Blaine, Washington. Way out here on the west coast. Keep right on the road to 176th Street. I know where I'm going. I've been here before, Mandy. Bunch of truck parking here. I want to get over the border tonight. I was going to wait till tomorrow, possibly, but I figured, you know what? The lineup to get across the border might be really bad tomorrow. I better do it tonight and then risk not finding a place to park in Canada because there's barely any place to park a truck once you get over the border. It's really frustrating. All right, here we go. Looks like there's like no lineup. That's great. And I will see you all on the, the colder side. The other side. Commercial traffic only. That would be me. C'est moi. Stop. A ret. Well, that's how you know we're in Canada. A ret. That was one of the strangest border crossings into Canada I've ever done. Man, they grilled me harder than the Americans. Why were you in the States? Uh, delivering and picking up freight. What brings you to the West Coast? Delivering freight. Have you been here before? I live in Canada. <laughs> Where are you from? Manitoba. Where'd you cross? Pembina. Why'd you cross there? Because it was the closest one. The weirdest questions this time when I crossed into Canada. I've never been asked those questions before. Just like the weirdest ones. It's, it's like she was testing Rock me. 20 kilometers on 176th Street. She was testing me to see if I had any uh, dumb answers or something, I guess. And 
I guess the dancers sounded pretty dumb. I mean, dumb questions get dumb answers. What brings you to the West Coast? Oh, just out for a drive, just hanging out. I figured I'd just drive this enormous rig out for a cruise, just came through here. No reason. Delivering freight, what do you think up to it? What do you think brings me here? Ugh. That is so strange. I expect that kind of grilling going into the States, but hey, I thought they weren't gonna let me in at first. It's so nice to not have to do my logbook at the end of the day. Oh, so nice. All it is is like, click, 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 click. Done. Just a few taps of the screen and that's it. No more sitting here doing math, pulling out the calculator, doing some more math. It does it all for me. Which probably brings up the argument that technology is gonna make us dumber. Because at least before I was practicing my math, I always tell you guys, you need math to do trucking. Well now, we have a fancy little gizmo here that does the math for us. So I guess you don't need math anymore. But you should still pay attention to math class because if these computers break down or anything and you need to actually go to paper, you still have to know how to do math. But anyways, oh boy, I guess I'm gonna call it a night here. Check my Facebook, do all kinds of stuff like that. And I'm excited to see what life has in store for us tomorrow. Wonder where we're gonna head. They haven't sent me any load requests, no nothing yet. I guess they'll send me that tomorrow morning. Huh, how many hours do I have left? I like this, like, like I said, I don't have to do math anymore. Uh, day log. Let's see uh, how many hours I got left. Well, I only have 19 hours left on my 70 hour clock. But, if I stay in Canada, that won't be a problem, because I've been driving for five days. After another two days, I can start recapping my hours from the first. So I should be good, as long as they keep me in Canada. If they send me back down to the States, I won't be able to go very far without a reset. I'm kind of hoping that I can pick up a load around this area. We have a lot of freight here that goes right across like North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida even, uh, Tennessee. Uh, the southeast part of the states. I'm really kind of hoping I can hop on one of those loads and head down south. They're usually very light loads too. Uh, but the only thing is I will have to stop for a reset along the way. So if they're okay with that, if it's not like a rush, 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 rush load, maybe I can do that. Or maybe they'll make me reset here first and then grab a load and then go straight. I don't know what they're going to get me to do. The joys of trucking, you never know what's going to be next. That's why I would never want to be on a scheduled like determined route the word is slipping my mind right now dedicated i would not want to be on a dedicated route i like the adventure of doing something different every time and not knowing what i'm doing next that's the best part of the job to me so i'm gonna go to bed back there diesel you're gonna come up here and probably sleep on the floor or something i'm guessing he's welcome to sleep at the foot of the bed but he never does he he he, he surrenders it to the king when the king needs his rest he's a good man a good lad, a good sidekick, a good lord, the lord of all weasels, and I am the king, and the king is over the lords, right? Is that how it works? We'll see you tomorrow. If you haven't already, if you're new, hit that subscribe button anywhere on the screen wherever you find it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, tell your friends about it. If you like my videos, chances are your friends will too. Share it out on your Facebook and Twitter. Give it a shot. I'll see you tomorrow anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time here in North America.